I'm Paul Bryan at the GE Customer Technical Education Center and in this maintenance minute we're going to be taking a look at the removal and installation of the N2 drive pad cover on a CFM 56-7B engine. Today we're filming on a CFM 56-7B engine. We're looking at the accessory gearbox N2 hand cranking pad cover uh, which is installed to the accessory gearbox with four bolts. What we're going to do is just simply remove these bolts all right, and use jacking screws at these locations here for removal of the N2 hand cranking cover. All right, for the removal of this N2 hand cranking pad cover, if necessary, I'm going to remove the electrical harnesses from my N2 speed sensor. Otherwise, I'm going to use a socket extension, loosen the uh, bolt torque, remove by hand, and then pull the cover off. All right, the hand cranking pad cover can be a little bit tight, so there is tooling for the aircraft maintenance manual uh, jacking screw set. Uh, I have one installed right here on the N2 drive pad. I'm gonna install another one. Go ahead and take my extension, my socket. And we're to break this off the, uh, the N2 drive pad. Once the N2 drive pad cover is loose enough, go ahead and simply remove. Now the primary reason for the removal of this N2 uh, hand cranking pad cover uh, was to get access to this three quarter drive to spin my accessory gearbox, probably for a boroscope inspection. Okay, in 2009, there was an original service bulletin issued for the replacement of this starter drive pad assembly that you see here, colored green. That also uh, delivered into service a seal that was inside this uh, N2 hand cranking uh, pad location. This would prevent oil leakage from the engine in cases where the N2 drive pad cover was not properly reinstalled or not installed at all. Uh, this is an old configuration where I do not have the seal installed. Okay, so we've removed this hand cranking pad cover and we put it on a table. And I have uh, my new hand model, Mr. Brian O'Day, of stepping in. He's going to do the removal of the overing packing material from the N2 hand cranking pad cover. We'll do an inspection of the N2 hand cranking pad cover, uh, and then we're going to reinstall overing packings. Reinstall the O-ring. We're going to take the approved aircraft maintenance manual oil, apply it to the O-ring, and reinstall on the cover plate. All right, we'll do a basic inspection to make sure it's properly seated. We'll do an inspection of the hand cranking pad cover, verify that there's uh, no excessive nicks or anything that's going to cause a problem, and then reinstall. All right, so we're going to go ahead and reinstall the uh, hand cranking pad cover. Uh, I want to point out that this component may be a required inspection item, also known as a uh, cross-check item. If you forget to install this before your next dispatch or it's not installed correctly, oil from this passage in here, which is the accessory gearbox, will come out. And this can and has led to in-flight shutdown. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this hand cranking pad cover. Verify that my bolt holes are aligned. Run down the bolts hand tight. Secure using a socket and extension. Reference the aircraft maintenance manual applicable torque value. Torque the bolts. Complete my inspections, verify seating of the N2 drive pad cover. Go back into service. All right, as we go back into service, we're going to have to do our aircraft maintenance manual repair confirmation procedures, which is going to include an idle run and a leak check. I want to verify that I don't have any fluid coming out of this drive pad cover and then we're ready to go back in service. 
All right, that completes this maintenance minute of the removal and installation of the N2 drive pad cover. For all you do, thank you very much. Have a nice day.